students in this session we are going to talk about punctuation marks so punctuation marks typically completes a sentence and they are used at different places of the sentence some are used in between the sentence some are used at the end of the sentence so we are going to talk about full stop comma question mark and we are also going to discuss the rules where we use these three punctuation marks in the sentence okay now we will talk about the full stop when a sentence ends we put a full stop at the end this describes that the sentence is completed and the message in the sentence is delivered like the sentence the girl is playing the piano at the end we have put the full stop if the full stop is put it at the end of the sentence by describing that the message is delivered and the sentence is completed the full stop is drawn like a dot when we make the dot bigger it becomes a period it's not a full stop so always remember that uh, to make a full stop we just touch the pencil to the page okay so these are the rules so where we can use the full stop in the de in the end of the declarative sentence like this sentence alina is my friend at the end of this sentence we have put the full stop because it is declaring that alina is my friend now the second rule is after the titles the titles can be mr mrs sir doctor etc in this sentence miss is Akhtar is my mother's best friend. In the sentence, after the title Mrs., we have put the full stop. The third rule is between the decimal points, between the number as a decimal point. For example, the average price of roses is increased by 2.2%. percent. The fourth rule is following an abbreviation. we are mutual friends enemies etc the abbreviation can be approx etc etc now the fifth and the last rule is it can also show the end of a group of words that don't form a typical sentence for example he was not allowed to do that full stop not while he was the leader of the group So in this sentence it is make sure that the group of sentence that do not make a typical sentence but we put at the end of the sentence to show its meaning to form a sentence complete Now students we are going to start the next punctuation mark which is a comma Why we use comma in the sentence Sentence need comma in order to be clear in meaning to clear a sentence we need a comma like in this sentence there are red comma pink comma yellow and white flowers in my garden if you don't put commas in this sentence this sentence would not be clear in the meaning there are also some rules uh, that how why and where we use commas in the sentence now the first rule to use a comma is to separate a list of three or more words in a row like in this sentence i have bought pencil sharpener ruler color pencils and marker for exams we will put to separate them the second rule is to separate names of city and state in a sentence the second rule is to separate names of city and state in a sentence for example in the sentence the mazari qaid is in karachi comma sindh the name of the city and state province is separated by the comma more rules to to use a comma in the sentence are number 3 to separate the day month and year in a date for example the what is the difference between march 23rd comma 2013 and march 23rd comma 2020 fourth uh, rule is before a conjunction which joins two sentences for example either you enjoy the rain comma or you curse the rain 
Number fifth sentence is to uh, the fifth rule is to separate person's name in direct address. For example, would you like to answer this question, comma, Fatma? The sixth rule is after introductory words like yes, no, well, hey, now, etc. For example, hey, comma, this bike is mine. Now, the seventh rule is to separate two or more adjectives from the same group that are describing a noun. In like in this sentence, an orphanage needs kind, comma, wise and generous caretakers. The eighth and the last rule is before and after a person's name in a direct address if the name is in middle of the sentence. For example, does this shop belongs to you, comma, Mrs. Amir or to someone else? Okay students, now we will start a new punctuation mark which is a question mark. Where we use the question mark, how we use the question marks and which kind of sentence we use the question mark. They are used to show a question. A question mark is used to show a question like in the sentence, which color is this? There is, all, there is only a single rule to use a question mark in the sentences. They are put at the end of asking sentences. Now what are asking sentences? Asking so sentences are such sentences which ask a question, which questionify a question. Uh, they are also called question sentences. And they start with question words like what, which, who, whom, where, etc. They can also start with some helping verbs. For example, like in this sentence, what is that? This sentence starts with a question word and after that we have put the question mark. In the second sentence, will you play with me? This sentence is starting with the helping verb and at the end we have put the question mark by showing that it is an asking question. 